hi guys welcome to another weekly reading vlog this is gonna be reading vlog number 12 i believe <laughs> if i'm right this week is gonna be where last week i had like a week of mystery novels i think this week i'm gonna do a week of um romance novels <laughs> So, starting out strong this week, I'm going to go with the last in the Slam series, Colleen Hoover's This Girl. I have been loving all Colleen Hoover books. Like, literally giving all of them five stars because they're... <clears throat> this one seems smaller than all the others, but... But, <laughs> I've literally been giving them all five stars because they're just so good. They're books that grab me at the very beginning and they keep me wanting to come back and read them until they're done. I literally eat these books up. <laughs> Even though I know a lot of booktubers say that this is like the books that got them into reading, but they don't think they're that good now that they've read more books and everything. I do really love Colleen Hoover. I still love her. I would probably buy all of her books, honestly. Um, especially since I've mainly liked all her books. So... And I'm going to start out with this week. I'm not going to read the synopsis on this just because I feel like um, if you haven't read the series, this will definitely spool some things in the series for you. So I would definitely not read the synopsis. But if you're interested in the series, it's the Slammed series. And the first book is called Slammed. Um, it's just about a girl in high school. She runs into a guy at the coffee shop. They end up hitting it off. Turns out he's um, a single dad, but it's not his son. It's actually his brother because his parents died and left him to take care of his brother. And um, yeah, long story short, she's um, she is also facing the same situation. Her mom is not in good health and she may be left taking care of her little brother too so they kind of bond on that front but of course when she goes to school after meeting him in the coffee i believe it was a coffee shop <clears throat> um and it's called slammed because there's a bar that does slam po poetry or they have a slam night in the bar and it's like for all ages and they do poetry you can do any type of performance you want but um yeah pretty much she goes to school after they have met outside of school and turns out that he's one of her gonna be one of her teachers and she had no idea that he was even old enough to be a teacher but um so things get a little twisted from there they decide that they can't be together because he's clearly her teacher <laughs> but um yeah you just have to read the series because it was really really good and I'm so excited to find out the conclusion to the series in this third book so yeah I think I've talked enough about this book the next book I'm planning to read is called Twice Shy by Sarah Hogle I'm curious it says love speaks louder than words so I am this is a very small one so I'm curious to see um the words look a little small in there too. But I'm curious to see how I feel about this. This is the first book that I've read by this author. It says it's the author of You Deserve Each Other. Which I haven't heard of that book. So <laughs> I don't know. But I thought I would go into this book next. Because it's been on my TBR the longest. I think it's a little crooked there though. And then the last book I'm planning to read this week. Unless... um something happens and when it, and there's another book that's due that's one of the reasons why and that's one of the reasons why I'm reading the Colleen Hoover book first because all the Colleen Hoover books at the library have extremely long holds it took me forever to get this last book in the series but that's why I'm reading it first that way I can get it out of the way I know that the rest of the books on the library TBR don't really have any holds on them so Last book I'm planning to read is Nicholas Sparks, Every Breath, which I just love Nicholas Sparks. I loved his older books from the early 2000s. Um, I assume it's the early 2000s, but um, like A Walk to Remember, um, The Notebook, the ones that they made into movies. Um, I read the books. They were so good. So I'm a big Nicholas Sparks fan. I love his books. I love his movies. 
I don't like the fact that all of his books end sad, so I'm always crying at the, <laughs> at the end of his books. There's always tears, but I really love his writing and enjoy his writing style. Um, I just hate that none of them really have happy endings. <laughs> the love interest feels like always dies in these books, but um, they're always really, really well written and really, really good. Sucks you in until the very end, so I'm very excited. <laughs> Actually, my favorite book by him is A Walk to Remember. It's my favorite book. And my favorite movie. So, <laughs> I'm excited to read this one. I haven't read this one yet. I've kind of fallen off of the Nicholas Sparks books. I think the last one I actually read was um, either Dear John or what's the one? Something about a song. Oh, I can't remember. It had uh, Miley Cyrus in it. But I read the book before the movie. And I think that's the last book I've read of his. And the other movies I'll watch, but I haven't read the books yet. So, I'm going to go ahead and start this one at the end of the week. I'm sure I'll be able to breeze right through these books. I picked three because that three is about the average of what I read in a week. It's three books. Sometimes I can get a fourth book in if one of them's shorter and I really read through them fast. Like, if I can read through these first two really fast because they are shorter romance novels i might be able to fit another book in but we'll see <clears throat> but that's it for now i'm gonna go ahead and start reading this girl and i will come up with come in and interrupt you with any updates i have during these books and i will um when i switch over to other books i'll read you the synopsis off the back of these ones since um they don't have sequels. So, as far as I know, there's no sequels to those. So I will read the synopsis off of the back of those ones. But I probably, I don't know if I'll come in and give too many updates on this book. I might just give my overall thoughts at the end. Just because this is the third book in a series. And I don't really want to spoil it in case y'all haven't seen this series yet. Or read any Colleen Hoover books yet. You really should. <laughs> I recommend you read Colleen, uh, Colleen Hoover books if you want. And I don't know if I would start with the, with the most popular one, which is It Ends With Us. It Starts With Us. Those are the popular books. I still haven't read those books. I haven't read them yet. I bought them. They're, they're on my bookshelf. That's probably why I haven't read them yet. <laughs> but I haven't read them yet. I want to read them because I know they're making a movie of It Ends With Us. And I guess if it goes good, they'll make it a... It, it uh, starts with us too then. I don't know. But um, I definitely recommend Colleen Hoover books if you like romance novels. These ones always have some type of something in them. Something, something. But okay, I've talked enough. It's already eight minutes. <laughs> I'm going to go read. I'm trying to make these weekly vlogs a little bit shorter. I've not been successful yet, but I'm going to go read. Hopefully this one won't be as long as the previous ones. <laughs> I'll come back once I'm done with my Colleen Hoover book to let you know my thoughts. Bye. <laughs> Hi, guys. So it is now Friday, and I haven't updated you at all this week on my reading vlogs. I've been trucking along reading. <clears throat> I think the last time I came in was just for the introduction, and I was reading this book, which I finished this book in, like, a day and a half, two days. I knew it wasn't going to take me long to finish, finish this book from Colleen Hoover. This is the last book in the Slam series, which I absolutely loved. If you haven't read the Slam series, you totally should. I just, I love her books. She just does so good. <clears throat> There's a lot of emotional parts in her books. But I, I feel like it almost always ends in a happy ending. <laughs> but, yeah. So this is pretty much like... The first two books but it's told in uh will's perspective you get to hear his thoughts on his side of the events like everything that happened between them like their first date how they met and everything like that but it's like it's like um lakin is asking him um his point of view when they first met what he thought and all of this and she's pretty much asking him questions. So she'll, she'll they'll have a little part where she's talking to him about it. And then she'll be asking questions about, like, um, his view of their date night and what he thought about her and all this. And then it'll go to, a, like, a flashback of him um, 
telling the story from his point of view. So it is a lot like the first two books. Um, so I guess if you were reading these like back to back to back, this might get a little bit repetitive. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was engrossed. I was um, really, really enjoying seeing his point of view on how everything happened. Um, but yeah, I give this five stars. It is a five star book for me. Colleen Hoover is like a five star <laughs> writer for me. I've loved all her books. All of her books have gotten five stars from me. <clears throat> Seriously, the only ones I haven't read now are it, in, are it Ends With Us and It Starts With Us. Mainly because I have bought those books and I can't stop renting library books to read the books that I own. That's a sad fact. <laughs> so the next book I started up was this one, Twice Shy, by Sarah Hogel. And I'll read you the little synopsis on the back. And I have already finished this book. <laughs> so I'll read the synopsis on the back and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So it says, Maybelle Parrish has always been a dreamer and a hopeless romantic. That literally sounds like me to T. I've always had like daydreams about things, you know, you know, some things happen and then you dream about what would happen if you would have done this and this differently. <clears throat> or just dreaming about being with a certain guy or whatever. And I've always been a hopeless romantic since, since I was a teenager, I guess. I've always been fast to fall in love. And all of that. So I thought, oh, I'm really going to probably connect with the main character because of that. But, um, so, <laughs> anyways, it says, Mabel Parrish has always been a dreamer and a hopeless romantic. But living in her own world has long been preferable to dealing with the disappointments of real life. So when Mabel inherits a charming house in the Smokies from her great aunt Violet. Oh, I thought it was her grandmother. <clears throat> she sees it. <laughs> She seizes the opportunity to make a fresh start. Yet when she arrives, it seems her troubles have only just begun. Not only is the house falling apart around her, but she isn't the only inheritor. She has to share everything with Wesley Coher, the groundskeeper, who as grouchy as he is, gorgeous. And it turns out has a, he has a very different vision for the property's future. <clears throat> Convincing the tactone. Wesley to stop avoiding her and compromise is a task more formidable than the other dying wishes. Great Aunt Violet left behind, but when Mabel uncovers something unexpectedly sweet beneath Wesley's scowls and as the two slowly begin to let their guard down, they might learn that sometimes the smallest steps outside of one's comfort zone can lead to the greatest rewards. So... <clears throat> From the back of that, it sounds like it's going to be such a great book. And I was so excited to read it. Y'all, this is one of the reasons why I haven't updated the reading vlog as much of this week. Because it took me so long. I've been reading this book since Monday. Or Sunday. Sunday or Monday. And it is now Friday. I just finished this book yesterday. <laughs> I only just finished this yesterday. And, um... I thought about I thought about DNFing it a lot of times. On my Goodreads, I only gave it two stars. I've already reviewed it on my Goodreads and on my Instagram. So, if you want like a more um, real time, what's going on in my reviews on books, what I'm reading, and my reviews, you can check my Goodreads and my um, my Instagram because I have been posting little cute pictures with the books and a little. Um, a little book review underneath it <clears throat> but I just found it I don't know it was something about I think I was just this is not a writer for me I couldn't get into her writing and there was a moment when they started like um passing notes and I love it when books go to where the characters are passing notes that's one of the things that I really loved about the Abby Jimenez, yours truly. There was some note passing in that one. I just, I don't know what about it, what about that gets me, but I just love that. So I got really giddy over that part, and that's the part when I started getting more into it. And that was like way past halfway. So it's basically a grumpy sunshine. It's, um, um, it's a grumpy sunshine trope. 
but it's also like he they're both that's why I called twice shy they're pretty much both really shy he's he's more so like he has anxiety and he has claustrophobia so he doesn't really go to restaurants he doesn't really go out not even flying on airplanes or anything because he gets really bad anxiety and claustrophobia and then he goes and gets panic attacks and <clears throat> all of this but yeah it took me forever to get through this book I thought I wouldn't take that long because it's a very short book but it took me all week <laughs> and I thought about DNF it so many times for the next book that I'm reading but I didn't it's just it was a very slow burn it was almost near the end of the book before they finally kissed and finally got together it was almost the end of the book <laughs> so I found out that I guess I think it's just this this author I'm not into her writing style because I would like to say that it's the slow burn I'm not a big fan of slow burn but then that would be a lie because I read Lucy scores by a thread and that was a slow burn too but the way their banter was in that book just kept me so engrossed in it and sucked in and the banter that they have between each other here didn't really do that. I don't know. It was just, it's not my book. It's not a book for me. Um, <laughs> maybe you would like, y'all would like it, but you can always try it out to read it and see if not. So the book that I'm currently reading, Nicholas Sparks, Every Breath. So this, I just started yesterday reading and I'm almost halfway through it. I already knew I would eat this baby up. This is Nicholas Sparks. I'm on page 122 already in chapter. There's no chapter. It's just like sections. So I'm on a love letter right now. I really want to. I was in the middle of reading this. I really want to finish it. <clears throat> but here I'll read the synopsis to you. <clears throat> it says, Hope Anderson is at a crossroads. At 36, she's been dating her boyfriend, an orthopedic surgeon, for six years. With no wedding plans in sight and her father recently diagnosed with ALS, she decides to use a week at her family's cottage in Sunset Beach, North Carolina, to ready the house for sale and mull over some difficult decisions about her future. True Walls has never visited North Carolina, but is summoned to Sunset Beach by a letter from a man claiming to be his father. A safari guide born and raised in Zimbabwe, True hopes to unravel some of the mysteries surrounding his mother's early life and recapture memories lost with her death. When the two strangers cross paths, their connection is electric as it is unfathomable. But in the immersive days that follow, their feelings for each other will give way to choices that pit family duty against personal happiness in devastating ways. <clears throat> illuminating life's heartbreaking regrets and endearing hope every breath explores the many facets of love that lay claim to our deepest loyalties while asking the question how long can a dream survive so uh, y'all this is like for me nicholas sparks is the king of romance novels i will forever love his books i mean the writing his writing is so good it sucks me in and it feels like you're, I don't know, it feels like I'm there in the book watching these characters on whatever they're doing at this, at this point on the beach. And most of his stuff is like on the beach in North Carolina is where it's set, which makes me just want to visit these places that he talks about in North Carolina. I want to visit the places just to see the little towns and stuff, but I love, he does romance so good. The only thing I hate is all his books ending sad. They're all sad. They're so sad. <laughs> all of his books have a sad ending. None of them have happy endings. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But the romance that goes through these books, oh, <laughs> so good. So I'm, I'm obviously really loving this. They're just beginning to explore their... They're just talking, hanging out, spending time together. There's obvious feelings between the two. They're starting to develop feelings for each other. 
and she's a, they're kind of broken up with her and her <clears throat> her boyfriend they had an argument about getting married and kids and stuff and and he ended up going to Las Vegas with his buddies when he was supposed to go to a wedding with his girl with her one of her sorority sisters is getting married so she's going to a wedding and then um two walls he's there to meet his father so he's still waiting he thought he was gonna get there and i guess meet him right away but his father he picked him picked him up in a limo he's at this huge like three-story beach house so it seems like his biological father might kind of have a lot of money <laughs> and i'm wondering why he's we haven't he hasn't met his father yet at this point. He's not supposed to until the weekend. I guess he left him a note or something saying on the weekend they would meet. But, yeah. I'm going to keep on reading this. And probably when I'm finished, I'll give you an update about what my thoughts are on it. But I already know I'm loving it. I'm eating this book up. So, I know it's probably... Right now, it's looking like a five-star read. But, I'm so curious how this is going to end. Because, True Walls, he has... An ex-wife back in Africa, um, South Africa, I believe is where he's from, Zimbabwe, in South Africa. And he has a son there, Andrew, I think his name is. So, this is not going to end good. Even if they both fall for each other, love each other, nada nada, I don't think he's going to stay in the United States when he has a son in South Africa. So, this is going to be so sad because I think they're going to end up falling for each other and then they're going to end up having to part when he goes back to Africa. So, <sighs> I'm still going to enjoy the ride <laughs> until the sappiness gets here. Because I cry every single one of these Nicholas Sparks books I've read. I've cried, cried at the movies too. So, <laughs> I'm just, this is just reminding me. It's been so long since I've read one of his books. So, this is just reminding me how much I love his writing and uh it just sucks you in and makes you feel like you're there it's almost like you're watching a movie in front of you so good I love it when writers do really good at that where they suck you in and you feel like you're right there with the characters in the book and watching it happen in front of your eyes that's when you know it's <laughs> some good writing so there's not many that do that for me but um, Nicholas Sparks does that for me. Colleen Hoover does that for me. And I got that with the Abby Jimenez, Yours Truly book that I read. So it makes me want to read more Abby Jimenez books. But this is making me want to go back and read all the Nicholas Sparks books that I haven't read. Because there's quite a few that I haven't read. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to have to go back and start reading all the Nicholas Sparks books again. Because I forgot how good his writing was and how much I loved it. And I'm going to have to see if he's done anything recently. Because I think this is from 2018. Yeah, this book is from 2018. So I'm curious if he has any more recent books that I'm missing. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep reading this. I've already spent 15 minutes talking about all these books. I knew it was going to be a longer update because I haven't updated all week. But I'm hoping to finish this maybe tomorrow morning so I can edit this vlog for y'all. But we'll see. I'm sure I will. Because when I, I'm going to go pick up my son, I usually get there about an hour early. And I do I do that just so I can have some quiet time in the car to read before I pick him up and everything. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep on reading. And I'll give you an update probably when the book is done. Or if something heartbreaking happens, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll see you guys. Hi guys. So, last update. And to close out the vlog I finished this book I actually finished it the same day this is Saturday now I finished it the same day I was talking to you about it that night I ended up finishing it so good I feel like the Nicholas Sparks books they take you on a little emotional roller coaster there's ups there's downs there's love and loss and uh, longing I just, I love it. it. just reminded me, I haven't read a Nicholas Sparks book in so long. And this just reminded me of how much I love his writing and his books. Even though they're so, they make me so emotional. <laughs> so, at some point, I feel like maybe one, I would need a break. Like a light, fluffy book in between. Because, 
I cried so much during this book. But it's a five star for me. Five star read. I really, really enjoyed it. These are the type of books that, I mean, I like reading. So now I'm on the journey to read all the Nicholas Sparks books that I haven't read yet. Because now, now I need to get caught up. <laughs> so that's the last book that I've read this week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog this week. Y'all have to let me know if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts on are on them in the comments down below. And uh, yeah. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're not yet subscribed, I'd greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing to this channel. And next to the subscribe button is the bell. You can ring that to be notified of all my future uploads. And I hope you guys are having a great day, night, weekend, whenever it is you're watching this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.